The Grand Canyon is one of the most magnificent natural wonders of the world. The canyon began its formation almost 2 billion years ago. Before that, the area was almost all underwater. The Grand Canyon is 446 kilometers long, 29 kilometers wide, and more than 1.8 kilometers deep. Its highest elevation is approximately 7,000 feet. It has four rims, the north, south, east, and west. Its layers of sedimentary red rock offer insight into millions of years of geological history. Canyons are formed from a combination of tectonic plate activity, erosion and weathering, as well as movement of rivers. There are about 40 different sedimentary rock layers exposed in the canyon, which range from 200 million to 2 billion years old. The Colorado River is believed to have arose 5 to 6 million years ago and cut through the Grand Canyon to help carve it out. And on average, it's only about 100 meters wide. However, its powerful currents have helped create the marvelous scenic curves, textures, and depths that we see today. The Grand Canyon area has been inhabited by Native Americans for centuries. Some of the indigenous tribes in the region include the Wallapai, which translates to people of the pines, and the Havasupai, which translates to people of the blue-green water, referring to the waters of the Havasu Canyon, which is about four hours from the Grand Canyon. The indigenous Paiute tribe has given the canyon the name Kebab, which means mountain lying down or upside down mountain. After having been bordered off on a 518-acre reservation by the U.S. government, the Havasupai Indigenous Tribe regained ownership to parts of the lands of the Grand Canyon in 1975. Despite this, federal red taping has prevented Indigenous tribes in the region to develop infrastructure and gain access to critical resources such as water from Lake Powell. I first visited the Grand Canyon in 2016. I was taken aback by the immense beauty and serenity, to which pictures just don't do any justice. I also went hiking on the Hermit's Trail at the South Rim, which was an incredibly difficult two-mile trek, but offered amazing views of the canyon. These are some of the very diverse trails from that hike. And this time, in 2019, my Grand Canyon experience was a bit different as it involved a plane and a helicopter ride to the west rim of the Grand Canyon. I booked a tour from Las Vegas with Maverick Helicopters. The tour began with a small plane taking us to the Grand Canyon from the Henderson Airport, which is about 20 minutes from the Las Vegas Strip. Making our way to the canyon, we flew over mountains and volcanoes, most of which are inactive, thankfully. The flight also took us over the Hoover Dam, which is an enormous dam that was built in the early 20th century on the Arizona-Nevada border, making use of the Colorado River to provide water and hydroelectric power for the developing Southwest at the time. Here, you can see Lake Mead on the Colorado River which is a man-made lake that was created as a result of the construction of the Hoover Dam. And then finally, reaching the magnificence of the Grand Canyon.
Colorado River down there and it's such an amazing view. There's the skywalk if you can like see that. And Toronto represent by the way. The Grand Canyon's West Rim is located on the Wallapai Indian Reservation. The Skywalk is a horseshoe-shaped glass bridge suspended 4,000 feet above the Grand Canyon at the Eagle Point Lookout. The observation deck extends 70 feet out from the canyon's edge. It was commissioned by the Wallapai tribe in 2007 and has become a popular tourist attraction since. Wallapai Ranch is set up like an old-school western town that you see in movies and has a blend of both western and native cultures. Wallapai performers also put on traditional dance shows for audiences. Unfortunately, there were no shows on the day that I visited. And up next was the helicopter ride into the canyon. Seat belts fastened and ready to go. The Grand Canyon is truly an embodiment of nature's beauty, as well as the science, history, and native people of the land. It was an amazing time, and I hope to go back soon. <laughs>